different types of circuit breaker. Uh, let's talk about what a circuit breaker is and what it does. Uh, in the old days, we had fuses, which did the same thing that circuit breakers do today. Uh, but back then, the fuse would blow out, and uh, you'd have to replace it. Well, the reason that the fuse would blow out is because there was some sort of electrical surge that uh, the fuse was between the main power source coming in and the different uh, outlets and light switches in your house. And when that surge would happen on that particular line, or if there was a, a short circuit or some sort of a fault, then the fuse would pop to prevent that from being sent to your device or your hands or anything that, that might be in your house that you didn't want damaged. Well, nowadays we have what's called a circuit breaker. And all that does, replaces the fuse and the entire fuse panel, which if, you are a, if you're doing home improvement and you have an older... Uh, service panel in your home, you want to call a licensed electrician, have him come out and replace your fuse panel with a breaker panel. And uh, what the circuit breaker does is, uh, as I said, exactly what the fuse did, except instead of having to replace the breaker, it's simply a switch. It looks almost like a light switch. And uh, different types are, if, uh, the most common ones you'll find in a, in a household uh, breaker panel are, uh, the most common one is a single pole breaker, which is uh, it's a single switch. It looks like, as I said, it looks a little bit like a light switch, and that will send power to a certain area of the house. Generally, those are used for uh, just basic wiring, your your outlets, your light switches, and uh, they'll run anywhere from 15 to 20 amps. Those are common. You, you'll occasionally find uh, an older breakers a five or a 10 amp, but uh, 15, 20 amps. Uh, then you also have a double pole breaker which is more common for where your your range or your refrigerator is plugged in because they can handle more amperage up to 15 to 30. Those are the two most common types of breakers you're going to find in the house. There's also ground fault breakers and nowadays surge suppressing breakers. And uh, go to your local library or go online and research it and you'll find out more than you ever thought you needed to know about circuit breakers.